delegates, chaperones, advisors, and staff. Thank you for attending PacMon 2020. It truly has been a wild ride, and I'm happy to say that even through the technical difficulties, we made it. Not only did we make it, but the experience was closer to an in-person Pac-Man than I ever would have thought possible. Even the intangibles, the parts we often remember the fondest, had their own substitute. Instead of the chaos of the Sheraton lobby right before opening ceremonies, we had two days of the lovely random Slack channel, and we wouldn't have had the opportunity for Pac-Man Among Us if we were still in person. I'd like to thank a few people for making this conference possible. Firstly, the Mun Northwest engineering team. They were responsible for much of the backend systems like the Pac-Man 2020 Slack workspace and the core of the registration system. I'd also like to thank our Mun Northwest media team for their hard work managing the Pac-Man 2020 Instagram before and during the conference and for their work on opening and closing ceremonies. And finally, I'd like to thank my wonderful external team. Each and every one of you was amazing, and I could not imagine a stronger, more cohesive group of Secretariat members if I tried. Now, without further ado, allow me to introduce the Chief of Staff of Pac-Man 2020, Luke Jufless. Thank you, Cody. My addiction to Model UN started as a freshman, with the European Space Agency as the mighty nation of Canada. And... Since then, I've attended about 26 conferences as the addiction was fueled by the debate and the community. Now, for me, applying to Chief of Staff was a bit of a long shot, but I applied nonetheless because I felt such a need to give back to this community. Since February, it has been an absolutely wild nine months, from the sleepless nights editing background guides to the countless staff meetings to the UBT trainings, it has been a tremendous amount of work. Yet, today, I knew that it was all worth it. Because, for me, I have grown tremendously from this program, in terms of my maturity, my leadership capabilities, and my own assuredness of myself. And for me to see these same qualities begin to grow in delegates, whether it be in the future Crisis Committee or the United Nations Security Council made me know that every hour I spent in this program gave back to each one of those delegates. And for me, that was worth every ounce of effort that I put into this program. Now, I need to thank my staff for making the dream of this conference come true. For putting up with my heinous UBT assignments to writing enormous background guides to generally putting up with me. And I'd like to especially thank the Flex staff for filling in so perfectly this conference weekend. Now, for my internal team, thank you so much for the late night calls, the editing, the training, and generally putting up with me. As chief of staff, I couldn't have asked for three better USGs. You guys did a tremendous job. Our goal for the committees this year was to keep the spirit of Pac-Man alive. But what I saw was more than that. I saw that it was flourishing. I saw delegates laughing and giving ranting speeches about their countries. And for me, nothing as chief of staff could have made me more happy than to see those delegates experience the same energy and the same community that I did as a freshman. So thank you to the internal team. Thank you to the staff. And more than that, thank you to the delegates for making this conference truly special because this community continues to grow because of the effort put in by each delegate, each staff member, and each secretariat member. And all of us combined made a genuinely positive experience that we all gained out of. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you at PAC-1 2021. Now, I'd like to introduce my USG of Principal Bodies, Maya Nair. My name is Maya Nair and I have the honor of serving as your Undersecretary General of Principal Bodies for PAC-1 2020. Over the past few months, I've had the pleasure of overseeing the Special Political and Decolonization Committee, the Commission on Sustainable Development, the United Nations Human Rights Council, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the World Health Organization, and the United Nations Security Council. I've had such a blast getting to know these wonderful staffers that have never ceased to amaze me with their incredibly vast knowledge, amazingly creative ideas, and great senses of humor. 
They've worked so hard to create unique and engaging topics that were int extremely intriguing to see work out well in each of their committees. From the ever so passionate debates in the URDC to the inventive costumes of the Security Council and top tier photoshopping skills in the UNHRC, these staffers were hopefully able to give you an experience that you will remember filled with knowledge and community. Without further ado, here are my fantastic directors. Hi, my name is Isha and I had the wonderful opportunity of serving as the director of the Commission on Sustainable Development or PACMAN 2020. Along with my amazing chair, Disha, and excellent assistant director, Basam, I have watched our delegates grow and show us so, so much over the past two days. As they discuss the importance of ensuring water security and the sustainable development of megacities, we saw all of them debate, argue, and compromise to find the absolute best solution. These delegates were thoughtful, determined, and undoubtedly intelligent. With such a talented group of delegates, it was difficult to determine the awards. But without further ado, here they are. My name is Linda Yan, and I am proud to have served as a director for SpecPol for Pac-Man 2020 alongside my wonderful chair, Trisha Baer, and my fantastic assistant directors, Chantal Zhao and Caleb Dempster. This weekend, we worked on two very important issues, the continued violation of the rights of indigenous people across the globe and the controversy surrounding UN peacekeeping missions. Throughout this amazing conference, despite numerous tech difficulties, we were able to witness the forging of incredibly effective compromises and agreements. An unfortunate blunt trauma episode caused by a member of the Orangutan tribe and countless food-related assassination attempts. Regardless of the awards, all delegates should be proud of their quality of work and discussion they had. Without further ado, Hello, my name is Nandini Daga, and I am proud to serve as the director for the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime for PACMAN 2020, with my phenomenal chair, Matthew Villalba Mutis, and sensational assistant director, Mariah Shu. Throughout this weekend, we covered two incredibly exciting and crucial topics, whistleblower protections and maritime piracy. We saw our delegates participate in incredible discussions about trust in the government, the differences in handling corporate fraud and government corruption, and so much more with so much passion. This group of delegates was incredibly quick thinking, collaborative, and watching them in their breakout rooms was a sight to behold. All of them grew so much, even though there was an odd fascination with food, specifically spaghetti and kelp shakes, and the inclusion of the delegate of Tim. Thank you so much for making my last PACMON a reminder of why I love this conference so much. All delegates should be very proud if they won an award or not. That being said, Hi everyone, my name is Autumn Rhee, and I had the honor of serving as director of the World Health Organization for Pac-Man 2020, alongside my wonderful chair, Shio Gata, and my fantastic assistant director, Santoshi Pisupati. Throughout the duration of the conference this past weekend, we discussed the topics of safety for healthcare workers in crisis zones and the health conditions in prisons. Although we did establish international guidelines for neutral agreements in regions of crisis, the committee also had a hand in the unification of the Koreas, the relocation of the Eiffel Tower, and the nuking of the dais. This group of delegates was made up of the most amazing thinkers and leaders and made for such a wonderful committee experience. Regardless of the awards, all delegates should be proud of the quality of debate and growth that was made. Without further ado,
My name is Rachel Daniel, and I am proud to say that I served as the director of the United Nations Human Rights Council at PAC-1 2020. I am so lucky to have served alongside the fantastic chair, Mason Ross, and the amazing assistant director, Nika Gazan Farpour. This weekend, we tackled two tough topics, protecting the right to a fair trial and safeguarding individual rights in the military. Now, this group of delegates have absolutely blown me away. They asked thoughtful questions and prompted stimulating debate throughout the whole conference, no matter how sleep deprived and caffeine crazy we were. We had so many laughs from canceling Canada, Russia, and Israel to Putin and Trudeau being shipped together and to eventually having to resort to using a drum to replace our gavel. It's definitely been a journey. I am super proud of how far each and every delegate has come and UNHRC wouldn't have been the same without y'all. That being said, the awards go to Hello everyone, I'm Olivia Boyson and this year I had the utmost honor of directing the United Nations Security Council alongside my lovely chair Mindy Jill and my vibrant assistant director Annabelle Daphne. Over the course of the weekend, our committee debated two topics, the situation in Kosovo and the recent resurgence of violence in the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region. Despite not knowing the second topic until debate for it had already started, these delegates truly impressed, remaining committed to having thoughtful conversations and working to find solutions, one of which that eventually passed by a vote of acclamation. No small feat. Even when they motioned for too many three-minute end mods, I truly thank these delegates for making my fourth and final Pac-Man special and do hope that we see Russia and Germany on another episode of Dr. Phil so they can figure out exactly who gets the asparagus farm. Without further ado, here are the awards. Now, thank you, Maya. I'd like to introduce my USG of Economic and Social Bodies, Kellen Hoard. Hi, my name is Kellen Hoard, and I had the pleasure of being the USG of the Economic and Social Councils this year. As the ECOSOC USG, I got to work with the AU, CSTD, EU, LAS, UNESCAP, and UNICEF. This position has allowed me to work with a truly fantastic, insanely capable group of staff members whose passion for mud is unparalleled. When they were writing background guides, I had to tell one of them, hold up, do we really need six pages of case studies? Their hard work and adaptability before the conference as we transitioned to an online format far exceeded my expectations, but the fruits of their labor really became evident these last two days. As I joined the various committee calls, I saw time and again professionalism, excellence, and an effort to facilitate the fun that is MUN. And the staffers deserve much credit for the success of the weekend, but so do you, the delegates. I was overjoyed to see the level of participation, abundance of well-written resolutions, and genuinely high-quality debate as we move through committee session. I would love to interview any of you delegates for a staff position in an upcoming conference. With that being said, it is time for the ECOSOC directors to talk a little bit about how their committees went this weekend and awards. My name is Marjan Fathi and I'm honored to serve as the director of the African Union for PAC-1 2020 this year, alongside my exuberant chair, Rushi Shaw, and my phenomenal assistant director, Zoya Varani. Throughout this eventful weekend, we discussed two topics that are impaired with the future of African countries improving regulations and implementation of cybersecurity, and reducing persecution against religious minorities. In our increasingly productive committee sessions, we were able to pass a resolution on various methods to educate the general public in developing open minds about their religious diversity, along with a memorable crisis that concluded with the result of cyber terrorists gaining COVID-19 research from developed countries with the help of a multitude of laughing fits. This group of delegates have continuously made this abnormal pac feel as normal as it could with their passionate, resourceful, and brilliant personalities. Regardless of the award results, all delegates should be proud of their performance this weekend and the eloquent discussions they had. Without further ado... My name is Freya Galamali, and I am proud to serve as the Director of the Commission on Science and Technology for Development 
For PacMon 2020, alongside my amazing chair, Rory McNerney, and my fantastic assistant director, Oleg Ianchenko. This weekend, we worked on two increasingly pressing issues in the world, transforming emergency response systems through technology and preserving job security in the face of automation. In incredibly productive sessions, our delegates built sound resolutions that would create regional teams to monitor natural disasters and partnerships to increase medical education. They even worked together to save the world with only 20 minutes on the clock and a little bit of help from some genetically modified carrier pigeons. This is one of the most talented group of delegates I have ever had the pleasure of working with. They were determined, collaborative, and creative. Based on the growth we saw in our committee throughout the conference, every delegate should be proud of the complex, nuanced discussion they had. Without further ado, Hello, my name is Jessica Topper, and it was my great honor to serve as the Director of the European Union at PACMAN 2020. I had the pleasure to work alongside my cheerful chair, Rahil, and my awesome AD, Sir John. This weekend, we discussed two of the most complex issues challenging the strength of the European Union. One being the safe and ethical integration of AI technology, and the second being the incorporation of the EU Green Deal. In debate, we discussed potential three-pronged solutions, the classic, and the creation of a quote-unquote board with no other context. In crisis, we tackled the problems posed by an unknown hacker by offering baguettes as ransom and dispersing emus, which I incorrectly called emus, throughout the continent. This was one of the most talented groups I have ever had the privilege to work with. They were knowledgeable, collaborative, and incredibly passionate. Regardless of the results of the awards, all delegates of the EU should feel proud of themselves for the fabulous work and intriguing points they brought up during debate. And now, without further ado, it is time for awards. Hello everyone, my name is Fiona Wong and I had the absolute honor of serving as the director for the League of Arab States at PACMAN 2020 alongside my lovely chair Mahima Uliar and my wonderful assistant director Harry Ganesh. This weekend we worked on two very pressing issues within the Arab States region, universal and coalition-based healthcare standards and military and nuclear proliferation. From creating barley bombs during crisis to passing a resolution with the newfound healthcare education system, there was never a dull moment in committee session, and for that I thank my delegates. You made staffing an absolute pleasure, and I hope even if PACMAN is your first conference, it won't be your last, because each and every one of you have the potential to go far. You should all be incredibly proud of what you have accomplished this weekend. However, there were a few delegates who stood out in particular. My name is Claire Charvet, and it is an honor to serve as the Director for the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific for PACMON 2020, alongside my fabulous chair, Shreya Vasith, and wonderful dire Assistant Director, Emmy Wilkinson. Over the course of this weekend, we discussed two very important topics, managing population growth and foreign trade in island and landlocked nations. Throughout our committee sessions, our delegates rose to the occasion discussing the varying population levels and growth rates throughout the region, drafted resolutions focusing both on the root causes and impacts of population change, and worked to prevent pirates from destroying regional trade. I have been astounded with our delegates' thoughtfulness, commitment to diplomacy, and innovative and inclusive ideas over these committee sessions. Regardless of all awards, delegates are, should be incredibly proud of their hard work and debate this weekend. And with that, awards go to...
Hello, my name is Maya Dolman, and I was honored to serve as the director for the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, better known as UNICEF. I was fortunate enough to have two spectacular staff members serve alongside me throughout both the preparation and execution of this committee. Harshita Rabella, your wonderful chair, and Isha Bangor, your amazing assistant director. We were also blessed with the most engaging, interactive, and fun delegates, who debated two pressing issues over the course of 13 hours of debate, improving access to mental health resources for adolescents and ending child marriage. Not only were our delegates able to produce multiple impressive resolutions, they went out of their comfort zone, bringing up new points, contributing to resolutions, and leading debate, all throughout the course of two short days. Not only that, they brought their unique personalities to this committee, which made it more fun and exciting than I could ever imagine. To say I'm impressed is an understatement, and it was truly amazing to see the amount of growth that these delegates showed. As a dais team, we were truly impressed with the amount of commitment delegates showed towards this committee. However, some delegates went above and beyond in their collaboration and leadership skills. That being said, Thank you, Kellen. Now I'd like to introduce my USG of Specialized Bodies, Rithika Prakash. Hello everyone, my name is Rithika Prakash and for the past nine months I have had the honor of serving as the Undersecretary General of Specialized Committees, overseeing the Corporate Cabinet, the KGB, the Future Crisis Committee, the Historical Joint Crisis Committee, and lastly the U.S. Senate. What makes Specialized Committees special is that each one may run completely differently than the next. The fast pace of the committee, plot twists, and the vast array of skills each delegate brings to the table makes it so that each committee experience is unique. You never know what you're going to get, which makes them that much more fun. Pacman is very close to my heart. Like many of you here today, it was my first conference and has provided me with so many valuable experiences over the past four years that I will carry with myself for the rest of my life. I am so grateful to have been able to work alongside the most wonderful internal team. We're absolute pros at making ravioli, by the way, and my amazing staff who have put hours of work into making specialized committees come alive in this virtual setting. I had so many fun memories with you guys, and I'm going to keep all of our failed Zoom call pictures forever. And to the delegates, after looking through all of the directive trackers, I have no doubt that if we were here in person today, the hotel would be littered with directive crowns. I had so much fun hearing about all of your unique actions and committee this weekend. I thank you all for making my last pack memorable, even in this virtual setting. And with that, here are our directors. My name is Jonathan Arjun, and I had the extreme honor of serving as the director of the Future Crisis Committee at PAC-1 2020. Before anything, I'd love to give a shout out to my fantabulous fellow staff members, without whom I would have collapsed from exhaustion a long time ago. To my adjective-loving chair, Sebastian Gertner, and my two absolutely amazing assistant directors, Sharon O oh and Arya Gupta, I thank you so much for helping to make this committee a reality. In Pacman's first iteration of a future crisis committee, we discussed a utopian future where the earth was ravaged by the impact of climate change and the global political order was fundamentally shifted. Our three blocs, the communist nations, the capitalist countries, and the African tribes held a referendum on the future of mankind on earth, discussing solutions to problems that we may likely face as a race one day. To every single delegate who attended and participated in our committee, I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys really made this experience pop. With your insane directives harnessing the powers of Future Rium, the 119th element, or building an entire government using the power of AI. And don't even get me started on our evening crisis. Nukes, assassination by drinking soup that was actually lava, and the entire population of Earth going 11 whole days without sleep were just the tip of the iceberg of the crazy things that you did. You guys consistently sent well-written directives, proposed extremely unique ideas, and spoke with the charisma of the next generation of leaders. And I couldn't be prouder of everything that you accomplished in these short two days. Thank you sincerely for making my last Pac-Man an absolute blast. Now for the awards. I don't say it lightly that every single delegate should be extremely proud of the work that they did in this committee, and we really wish that we could have given you all awards. We did have to choose a few whom we thought stood out for the leadership and writing, and without further ado, Hello, 
My name is Ron Dubinsky, and I am proud to serve as the director for Corporate Cabinet for PacMon 2020, alongside my chief Bintalu Condensate Consumer and Chair Charles Gee, and my full-time Freedom Fighter and part-time Assistant Director Vikram Supramanyam. This weekend, we considered the policies and politics of oil corporations in the Cold War Middle East. In a set of questionably productive but amazingly organized and understanding discussions, we passed several policies limiting the risk assumed by oil corporations in dealing with regional instability, resolved the conflicts between Iran and Iraq, and addressed issues in Syria and Suez, along with attempting an assassination of Egypt's General Nasser using scuba equipment and a bank heist using lunch ladies. This is hands down the most impressive group of delegates I have ever had the pleasure of working with. They clearly understood the complexities and nuances of the region's economic, social, and political history often better than the Dais did. Regardless of the awards, all delegates should be proud of the quality of work and understanding that they demonstrated. And here are the awards. My name is Eric Xia, and I'm proud to serve as the Joint Director of the Historical Joint Crisis Committee for PACMAN 2020, along with my insightful chair, Nisarga Ramesh, and tenacious assistant director, Kylo Kulihin. Our committee, set in the Irish Revolutionary period, had an intricate crisis arc. Our two blocks navigated stormy weather, negotiated amidst simultaneously declared ultimatums, and during crisis, successfully averted death by ferry by designating nature reserves. Our committee ultimately resolved beautifully due to the quick thinking of our delegates. Again and again, they were able to navigate the challenges we posed with admirable foresight and creativity. Hello, my name is Sai Sunku, and it has been my honor to serve as a director for Block 1 of the Historical Joint Crisis Committee at PACMAN 2020, along with my talented chair, Ksenia Tokareva, and my fantastic assistant director, Kaylee Allen. This weekend, we debated the controversial Irish Revolutionary Period, where Block 1 represented the Republican opposition to the treaty. It was exciting to see delegates debate and pass directives to kidnap esteemed British officials, create sourdough bread factories, and even create a vigilante superhero with fairy dust. Despite facing challenges and unexpected ultimatums, the delegates remained confident and resilient. I have to honestly say that this group of delegates were very creative and talented, and that they should all be proud of what they accomplished. Without further ado, Hi, I'm Henry Rogers, and I have the honor of serving as the director of Block 2 of PACMON 2020's Historical Joint Crisis Committee. Working with me were my wonderful chair, Marco Morrison, and our fantastic assistant director, Anat Dubinsky. The second block represented the provisional government of the Irish Free State during the country's revolutionary period, and our delegates did a fantastic job representing the various interests of this burgeoning new nation-state. Our delegates faced challenges from rebels within and the forces of the British Empire from the outside, did a fantastic job representing their positions and adapting to the challenging environment joint crisis committees always provide. Regardless of awards, our whole committee should be proud of the improvement that we as a DIAS team saw in every delegate throughout this weekend's conference. Without further ado, Hello, my name is May Houts, and I had the honor of serving as the director for KGB alongside my amazing chair, Vic Vic Vassist, and incredible assistant director, Eric Song. The agents had the task of establishing a new KGB to take over Ukraine, then Russia, and then conquer the world. Every single one of the agents worked so well as a group and as individuals, and I am incredibly proud of every single one of you and the growth that you've shown during committee. No matter what was thrown at you, you persevered and accomplished the task. Thank you all for this amazing experience, and here are your awards.
Hello, my name is Brett Kelly and I'm the director for the United States Senate for PACMA 2020. Alongside my wonderful chairs, Pauline and Ivan, and my great assistant directors, Pranav and Xavier, we have been debating the topics of healthcare reform and homeland security over the past two days. We have loved watching our senators grow through various forms of debate. And last night, we've had a wild midnight crisis where, <laughs> where the US Senate kidnapped Kanye West and where TikTokers distracted both KGB agents and the United States military in the state of Missouri. Although we wish we could give awards to every delegate, we can't. So without further ado, here are the awards. Hello, my name is Isabel Morjano, and for the past 10 months, I've had the absolute honor of being your Under Secretary General of Media. First off, I'd like to extend a huge thank you to our media interns, Nicole Yang, Emily Rincon, Kelly Tran, and Bentley Eldridge. For the past months, and especially this weekend, they've worked tirelessly to update our social media, create amazing graphics, and make some incredible hype videos. <laughs> All of us on Secretariat appreciate their hard work so much, and we cannot thank them enough. Next, I'd like to announce something else new about this year's conference. As you may have seen on our Instagram, at Pacman20, we are releasing merch for the first time ever. You can get, <laughs> you can get some Pacman stickers, t-shirts, and sweatshirts at teespring.com slash store slash Pacman. Finally, I'd like to introduce our wonderful president, a model United Nations Northwest Board of Directors, Shadi Merfrazan. Good evening, delegates, chaperones, and advisors. First and foremost, on behalf of the Mun Northwest Board of Directors, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your relentless commitment to both Model UN as well as this amazing community that we've built over the past several years. Despite the many challenges the debate over a virtual platform presents, we were delighted to see so many of you excited and ready to debate important issues this weekend, just as with any other year of Pac-Man. More than ever, the state of our world demands young people who are ready and willing to lend their voices to our world's most pressing issues. Seeing you all deliberate these issues this past weekend within our own community makes me helpful for the state of our world in the coming years. Speaking of hope, I would like to give our sincerest thanks to our amazing secretary and staff, who, as the backbone of our very first virtual Pacman, showed incredible flexibility, resilience, determination, and an excellent sense of humor along the way. This event would also not have been possible without the hard work of our excellent Pacman Executive Conference Director, Kelsey Brayford. Most importantly, we hope that amidst the unique and difficult circumstances each of you may be facing this year, we were able to provide even a small sense of normalcy or even a little joy to your school year. Thank you all so much again for your presence and your dedication, and we can't wait to see you next year. Dear delegates, parents, advisors, and chaperones, welcome back. It has been quite the weekend. I hope you found your committee experience to be enjoyable, fun, and exciting. I don't know precisely what you're feeling, but I can only imagine all too well. Disappointment at not winning an award, elation because you did, exhaustion because how long is this speech going to take? That's all right. It's okay to feel whatever you're feeling right now, but I confess that I do hope you feel you've learned something over the weekend. That no matter how little, you are a different person now than 32 hours ago. A little more daring, a bit more confident, or maybe even more reserved, a better listener. More aware. I'm not going to tell you awards don't matter, because frankly, they probably do for you. They did for me too. But what I will tell you is that words can't measure your spirit, ingenuity, or heart. How much you've grown, how far you've come, what challenges you've faced to get here. And I will tell you that we have secretariat members and dais members who have never won awards, and they lead debate and run the conference just as well as anyone. It has been nearly 11 months, 326 days to be precise, since I started working on Pac-Man. 7,018 hours, give or take a few. I still remember getting the call that I was hired, being on top of the world for a good week until the scale of my responsibility really hit. I never thought I could lead a conference. Sometimes I still feel like that. But I made it, somehow, 
with the help of everyone around me. Whether by luck or smarts or sheer force of will, I made it. This weekend has been a haze of Slack messages, Zoom calls, fires to put out, metaphorical ones, one good thing about an online conference, and accomplishments to celebrate. I have felt nervous, exhausted, elated. Sometimes all three at once. It feels unreal that it's about to end. So what now? After the gavel has sounded and the placards are put away, what's left but an empty room? Where do we go from here? I don't know. Truth is, I don't know what's next for me or for you or for the world, for us. And maybe that's scary. But what I've seen over the past weekend is this generation is more equipped to handle the challenges of the world than anyone before. And I've seen delegates fighting, and make no mistake, it is fighting, to educate themselves, to empower one another, to find some solace amidst all the uncertainty. You are the future, like it or not. And I can't wait to see you take on the world's challenges. Without further ado, it's time to close Pacific Model United Nations 2020. All delegates in favor, please raise your placards now. Pacific Model United Nations 2020 is now closed. See you next year.